Hello and welcome back to the Nasty Metal Productions channel here at YouTube and of course I'm not here for a rant video I am here for another album review and it's for the comeback album and new album from Steve Grimmett's uh, Grim Reaper. Now technically this is kind of almost a solo type of thing because te technically for this to be Grim Reaper it has to at least to feature the founding me member uh, Nick Belcott. However, if you don't know what Grim Reaper are, they were definitely part of the new wave of British heavy metal movement back in the 80s, uh, being formed in 1979 by Nick Belcott, uh, to then, of course, uh, being featured on the Heavy Metal Heroes compilation with the song The Reaper. Uh, they had a different singer as well before uh, Steve Grimmett joining. Of course, Steve Grimmett was also in Shouto, uh, or Chateau, however you want to say it on the um, Chain and Desperate record, which was also featured on the Ebony Records, which was Grim, Grim Reaper's uh, label that they were signed to. Um, not not meaning that, that it was their label, not really. Don't want to put that information out there. But, uh, of course, uh, going on to then releasing classics such as See You in Hell, uh, Fear No Evil, and of course, Rock You to Hell. They were also featured on RCA Records, and they also had a feature even on Beavis and Butthead. So, uh, definitely the history for Grim Reaper is definitely something, but in 1988, they, of course, split up, and Steve Grimmett pretty much reformed it in 2006 under the name Steve Grimmett's Grim Reaper. But... He didn't release an album under the name until now, which is now titled Walking in the Shadows. And what can you expect from this? Well, it's definitely still close very much to those first three Grim Reaper albums. This is definitely still continuing the sound that was even at times even presented on Fear No Evil and uh, Rock You to Hell. This is definitely just... Uh, just right from uh, Wings of Angels all the way to Come Hell or High Water. It's definitely chock filled with uh, quite a bit of tracks. That still sounds like Grim Reaper. Um, of course, within all that, uh, the time clocking for this is 50 minutes and 25 seconds. So, with that, it's all chock full with a lot of Grim Reaper sounding stuff. It's definitely good. There was, of course, uh, the song Walking in the Shadows, which was released as a single uh, earlier this month, or, yeah. Um, really, uh, there isn't anything wrong with the sound. Of course, Steve Grimmick kind of sounds, you know, you, you, know, you can tell age has definitely kicked in. But, for the most part, it's definitely uh, quite solid. There still is some good tracks on here, like Reach Out From Hell, uh, Call Me In The Morning, uh, which... For a title like that, you'd think it's some going to be some ballad, but it, the track pretty much is a kick-ass metal song. Overall, there really isn't anything bad to say about it. Uh, it, def it just it sounds like uh, Grim Reaper just minus Nick Belcott, yet at times almost sounds like he's still present in the band. And not to say that he's dead, he's doing a lot of stuff for like... Um, He's got like guitar tab videos on YouTube and he's also uh, working for like Marshall Amplifier and shit like that. Uh, definitely um, uh, not a bad album. Uh, album was released on Dishonest Productions. Uh, don't really know so, so much about that label. Um, really um, not a bad album. I can't say anything wrong. Uh, rating. I'll probably give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's definitely not groundbreaking stuff. It's definitely, you know, it's definitely stuff that would please at least a fan of Grim Reaper. That's all. That's all. So, um, if you haven't even checked out the album yet, it definitely was dropped today, so you definitely have time to even uh, order the album. You probably have it pre-ordered. Who knows? It's probably all on your way to your house. Who knows? Uh, it's definitely on YouTube. You can definitely can find the songs here and there. Um, definitely a um, solid album. Definitely um, I wouldn't mind picking up. But if you even haven't even heard uh, Grim Reaper, I'm not sure if this would be a good album to start with. But at the same time, this is also a pretty decent album to even start with as well. To me, though, the best stuff is definitely Fear No Evil and uh, See You in Hell. So... 
Uh, until then, this is Hippie Thrasher. Sing, I'm out. And I'll see you.